Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about sampling and sampling process. This is taken from Unit 5 in the subject Nursing Research and Statistics. This is my part 1 video. In this video, we are going to discuss about introduction, purposes, characteristics and sampling processes. This video will be useful for BSc nursing students, post basic BSc nursing students as well as students who are studying general research. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. As I have told earlier, the content what we are going to discuss in this part 1 video is introduction, basic terminology so with regard to sampling and purposes of sampling, characteristics of sampling as well as sampling process. Let's move on to the topic. Sampling. What is sampling? Sampling is a process of selecting representative units from an entire population of study. In research studies, it is not always possible to study an entire population. Therefore, the researcher draws a representative part of your population through sampling process. See, sampling is nothing but uh, from a large population, you are taking a subset of population. So, that is called as, that process is called as sampling. See, if you want to study on hypertensive patients, there are many patients uh, in the world suffering from hypertension. You cannot do on all of them. Or even if you are taking in India also, you may not be able to do or for all of them or even if you are going to take a particular city like Chennai or Bangalore that also you may not be able to do. So you have to select some samples like 100, 1000, 500, 50, 60 depending on the sample size you will be selecting the samples who are going to represent your target population. Your target population are people with hypertension. So based on some criteria you will be selecting the um, people you who are suffering from hypertension and the number will be minimal so that the findings what you are going to get from those samples you can generalize it for the target population or general population okay so this is called as sampling so practical for practical feasibility you may not be able to do the whole population now so you have to take some population samples who are going to represent the population group terminologies with related to sampling population population it is the aggregation of all the units in which a researcher is interested population is a set of people to which the results of a result are to be uh, results of your research are to be generalized. Population is a set of people to which the results of your research are to be generalized. So as I have told earlier, see suppose hypertension patients you are interested to do research means so that uh, people who are all suffering from hypertension will be your population. So from that population only you are taking some uh, small uh, set of samples. So the findings what you are going to get from the samples it can be generalized suppose if you have find an intervention to control a, a hypertension means uh, through the samples you have done some experimentation so the results you can generalize to the whole people who are suffering with uh, uh, hypertension or whole population or target population target population it consists of total number of people or objects which are meeting the diagnosis set of criteria it is the aggregate of all the curses with certain phenomena about which the researcher would like to make generalization so target population in people with hypertension also sometimes people with have only primary hypertension you used to take and you used to generalize your findings or sometimes you will take a people with hypertension and diabetes mellitus so with your samples also you have to select in such a way who are having people with diabetes mellitus and hypertension like that. So the target population is uh, that population which has a specific set of criteria and to which the findings of the study will be generalized. 
accessible population it is aggregate of cases that conform to designated criteria and also accessible uh, as subjects for your study so accessible means reachable okay suppose if you are interested to study on a hypertension patients along with the diabetes mellitus so who and all are having hypertension and diabetes mellitus are your target population out of that who and all is accessible to you suppose if you are going to do on government uh, hospital chennai okay who and all is going to accessible to you that particular uh, population is called as uh, accessible population sampling sampling uh, is a subset of the population so sample uh, sampling it is uh, sampling is the process of how you are going to select uh, samples uh, and uh, which is going to represent the population under study so it is the process of selecting a representative segment of the population under study so i have told uh, people who are having hypertension and diabetes mellitus is your target population your accessible population is people who are having diabetes mellitus and hypertension and who are attending uh, opd at a uh, general hospital in um, chennai government general hospital in chennai okay so who is your sampling sampling uh, so in that also people so many people will be attending with the diabetes mellitus and hypertension out of that whom you are going to select the thing that is called as sampling next is sample sample is the subset of target population so it is a representative unit of target population which is to be worked upon by a researcher during the study so from the target population through the sampling process you are selecting some samples maybe the samples can be 100 or 500 or 1000 or 700 or 300 or even 50 or 30 depending on the study what you are going to do element or subject subject means the participants the participants who are going to participate in the uh, study so each participant is considered to be a subject or element okay the individual entities that comprise of the samples and population are known as elements or subjects sampling error there may be fluctuation in the values of statistics of characteristics from one sample to other or even those drawn from the same population each person will be different even if you are going to carefully select the samples also there may be chances for some error to occur which you can uh, deal with the statistical analysis so sampling error is nothing but fluctuations in the values how much ever even you are ca carefully selecting the samples also there may be chances for some amount of sample error which you can deal with by doing statistical analysis sampling bias distortion that arises when a sample is not representative of the population from which it is drawn sometimes you, you you are taking the samples very carefully but even when you are selecting the gaps also sometimes the sample may not represent the target population or general population sometimes it happens one or two samples it may happen so this is called as what sampling bias next to moving on to purposes of sampling the purposes of sampling you have so many points the first purpose is economical so with the help of sampling uh, the researcher can able to save a lot of time money and resources for the study okay so it saves time money and resources next improved quality of data if you are going to represent the samples carefully select and represent the samples the quality of data is going to get uh, improved the information what you are going to get for the research study is going to get improved the quality of work is going to get improved because the samples are going to represent the population so your study findings will be very much fruitful quick study research so quick study research okay what suppose um, if you want to study entire population you may not be able to do it within that time limits so if you are going to study some samples uh, who are going to represent the population the time within the given time frame or limit you can complete the study next is precision and accuracy of data what is precision so precision means conducting a study on an entire population provides researchers with voluminous data and maintaining precision of data becomes a cumbersome task while carrying a study on a part of the population that is uh, who are going to represent the population helps the researcher to generate more precise data where formulation of the interpretation of data becomes much easier suppose if there are going to be lakhs of uh, patients uh, 
are there you cannot do on entire instead of that if you are taking only 100 samples the computation and uh, the representation and the findings everything can be easily analyzed and you can uh, generalize the findings to the general population characteristics uh, representative so here till now we have seen what purposes economical improved quality of data quick study research and precision and accuracy of data are the purposes of the sampling what are the characteristics of sampling so representative it should represent the target population the sample should be selected from the target population suppose if the study is on hypertension um, you have to take patients who are suffering with hypertension you should not take some other patients who are suffering from hypothyroidism like that and all okay so free from bias and errors a good sample is one it should be free from bias sampling bias or errors okay when you are selecting you have to be very much careful next no substitution and incompleteness a sample is said to be good if once a subject is selected for the study it is neither replaced nor it is incomplete in any aspect of researcher interest so no substitution so if that sample is not performing well we can substitute with other sample like that when you are selecting itself you have to select in such a way that this sample is perfect for the study appropriate sample size so it is believed that quantitative studies the larger the sample size better the generalization or the better the study findings so in quantitative studies better go for larger sample size so that you can very confidently tell about the research findings with confidence next moving on to sampling process first step in sampling process is you have to identify the target population and you have to define the target population suppose if you are going to do a study on uh, patients who are suffering from uh, oral cancer so your target population is all patients who are going to suffer from oral carcinoma so that uh, you have to be very clear whom you are going to take Describes the accessible population ensuring sampling frame. So out of the target population, so all the target population you may not be able to achieve. So out of that which place you are going to select accessible population you have to select and formulate a sampling framework or model where how you are going to select the samples. Specify the sampling unit. So which sampling unit from where you are going to select the samples. Then sample selection methods. There are so many sample selection methods which you are going to see in my next video that is with regard to purpose sampling method non purpose sampling method like that cluster sampling method multi stage sampling method randomized sampling method like that so many sampling methods are there which sampling method is appropriate for you you are going to select and determining the sample size how much samples you are going to uh, select then specifying the sampling plan how you are going to select the samples so you, need, you should have a sampling plan and uh, whoever has satisfied that criteria you are going to select uh, selecting a desired sample so these are the steps in sampling process i repeat the sampling process steps uh, identifying and defining the target population describes the accessible population and ensuring sampling frame specifying the sampling unit specifying sample selection methods determining the sample size specifying sampling plan selecting a desired sample in my next video i'll be discussing on uh, non-purpose sampling method purpose sampling method all the different sampling methods hope this video has clear for you all if you like my video please give me a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box suggested end card and i card we have created a separate playlist for nursing research and statistics as well as for statistics alone thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel